Hi, I'm Paul Brody, back in the shop here, Mitch behind the cameras. We're working on a project. I got metal. Thanks for tuning in. Got metal, I got a piece of bronze, and this was not real cheap, it was $85. And that's gonna be for the hub, and then I went out and I bought some bearings and I ordered them and, uh, well, that was a, I mean, I'm used to things being expensive. This was $60 for these two little bearings. Well, they are made in Japan. Uh, and those are the highest quality. If you want Chinese bearings, I'm sure you can get them for $1.59 or something like that. So it's nice to have the quality. I would have liked to have saved a little bit of money. That's just me. I got a drawing. We're going to go to the lathe. We also have to use the rotary table in the mill because we have to drill the spoke holes. I've got a little drill here. So it's a, how many, uh, a 32 hole. That's what the rims are. So we have to make the hub to match. We'll do that. And it's time to get going. It's snowing outside here. I don't know what it's doing where you are, but we have snow. Okay, that's coming along. So we're going to work on the outside shape now. And then, uh, well, actually, we could bore, we could rough bore where the bearing goes. What you want to do is the rough bore, and then you finish everything. You don't do it all in one shot. That's not good machining. I need to bore for the bearing now. Do you think it's going to fit? be a good fit. 
I'm going to take one little cut, sort of halfway in. Okay, and then it's got a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a press fit right at the bottom. I might have taken a little bit more than I wanted, but you know, actually this is still warm, so it's going to come down a couple tenths. Still a pretty good fit. There's not, I'll put a little bit of Loctite in there. It's a good fit. That's a good fit, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my 4,000 pound bearing puller. It's a pretty good fit, I would say. I don't have a bearing here, but that should work. All right, we're gonna to go to the mill now. We're gonna drill the holes for the spokes. Fun job, right? I used my calculator and I calculated all the spoke holes. So it's a 32 hole hub. Well, that's what the rim is. So the hub has to match. So you take half of that 16, you divide 360 by 16 and you get all these numbers here. So that has to correlate to every time I drill a hole, I have to move it. It's 22.5 degrees. That's what I'll be, that's what I'll be working on. Okay, I'm doing here is the holes have to be offset these this hole here does not end up in line with this hole or whatever hole you always go right in the middle so I'm going to take a felt pen that should look like it's right in the middle there so Like that. And then I need to draw a line down there, and that's what I line up the center drill with. So you see what I'm doing here? I got my combination set. This is how I know that I'm drawing the line. Hopefully right where I want. 
there. So you see that? From down here, I went halfway between the two holes, came right across using extrusion. This stuff is so great for some things. Cheap, too, really. And then it comes right across, and I've, I've already got my uh, at the distance from the center out to the spoke hole. Everything's set on the mill, so it's just plug it in, line it up, and drill 16 more holes. I have to take off the burrs now inside and outside of the hubs and what I normally have to put a chamfer on is something like that. Well, that's not going to work very well because the chuck has to go here and you see how it's too big. It's not going to work. I've got this one. This one's a little smaller. I, I cut it down for a certain application for a certain size of Allen screw and you can see that's not, well, you got to hold on to here. But I found this. It's a drill bit that got extended, and it's cut at about a 45, like a countersink. And I'm pretty sure that's what I used on other hubs. So let's just see what happens here. We made a hub today. Thanks for watching. That was that was actually a fun project. I like doing that. A little hard to work with bronze, but anyway, it is what it is. Uh, next, what we'll be working on, we got to do a seat post for the giraffe bike, and there's some other stuff too. There's also a set of cranks, a rear hub. I got a, a, a compact freewheel off a of BMX coming. We'll check that out. Mitch and I, we do like coffees, and if you buy us some coffees, we appreciate that very much. Helps the channel. And uh, please subscribe, like, all that stuff. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Take care. What I got here, what, if you're wondering what I'm doing, this is the wheel off the Whippet, the 1888 Whippet full suspension bike that's up in the rafters right now. And it's a hub that I made. It's, uh, I call it a, a radial spoke hub. And the spokes are, are threaded right into the hub. So you can see this is a little smaller version. And you can see how the bronze has aged over the 10 years that it's been just in the shop. So when it's new, it's, it's a different color. It's... Uh, it's much more yellowy, and then as it ages, it gets that a bronzy look more than the brassy look. Same, same metal, though, I believe. That's all I wanted to show you. I like hubs. I like making stuff out of metal for old bicycles. <laughs>